Aloha boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to be learning how to make dot art in Photoshop. First thing first folks, you gotta go ahead and open up the reference. After you have your reference photo open, please go ahead and rename and double click on the background. You're gonna rename it now. With my image, I renamed it Yoshi and Mario, but you could rename it as whatever you wanna call it, okay? Photo um, or whatever your image is, please go ahead and re rename it and hit OK. The next step we are going to go ahead and click on the menu icon and convert it to a smart object. After you have converted your image into a smart object you are going to go ahead and use the new fill adjustment solid color and you are going to choose the color black. After you have chosen it please hit OK. You are now going to drag your layer underneath your image layer now that your image layer is on top you are gonna go ahead and go ahead and click on filter the filter menu to hit pixelate and then mosaic once you get mosaic you are gonna go ahead and hit any number that you want on the cells in this case I have used 50 please remember your number you're gonna need it while we open a new document once you have your number hit OK now we are going to go ahead and make a new document so please go to file and new document we are going to go ahead and label the document width is going to be 50 the height is going to be 50 the resolution we will make it 300 and make sure it stays on pixels the background could be white go ahead and hit create now please go ahead and zoom in. You can use the magnifying glass to go ahead and zoom in or you could hit control plus to go ahead and zoom in. Alright, now that you are zoomed in, we're going to go ahead and use your marquee tool. Alright, if you need to zoom out, you could also hit control minus. Alright, now since we got the right size, we're going to go to the marquee circle tool. It should be the second tool to the right. Um, while you go ahead and do that, please go ahead and start from the top left corner. You're going to go ahead and drag down with the shift key and the circle all the way down to make a perfect circle. Remember to hold on the shift, okay? Now you folks are going to go to edit and fill. And you're going to go to where it says contents to the color black. Hit OK. Now you're going to go to image adjustments and go to invert now your image should be inverted with the white circle and the black outsides now you folks are going to go to edit define pattern please go ahead and put your number in for your pattern so you remember okay in my case I'm gonna do um, 50 by 50 and hit OK and now you're going to go ahead and close this out you do not have to save it because now it is saved in your pattern section. Now make sure you, when you're back at your image, you're clicked on the label and we're going to go to add vector mask. Once you folks add your vector mask, we're going to go to edit, fill, and then go to where it says contents and you're going to go ahead and add pattern. You're going to create the pattern that you look through, you go to the pattern menu and it should be right inside where you created it should be the newest one and just go ahead and hit OK now you are going to go to view to zoom in but this time we're gonna go say fit in window so we can have a better look at it right now we're gonna go back to our layer style options and we're gonna go ahead and hit stroke play with the numbers you know find the one that you like and hit OK Alright folks, please go ahead and go to layer. We are going to go to layer to flatten the image. Now you're going to go to filter and then go all the way down to where it says sharpen and hit sharpen. These are some of the final steps. Please go to file, save as. You're going to go ahead and save it to your computer. And then you're going to go ahead and rename it, okay? And it will save it as a JPEG, alright? Format is JPEG. And then we'll go ahead and hit save. Make sure you scroll it all the way up to 12 to the maximum for the best quality and go ahead and turn it into Google Classroom. 